Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the LeverX webinar series, a free educational service offered to SAP customers to inform and demonstrate SAP functionality and industry best practices to improve your business performance. Our webinar today is entitled, What's New in SAP PLM and Hampson Pack 7? This webinar will review all of the new discrete functionality for SAP PLM that was released in Hampson Pack 7 and explain and demonstrate how you can take advantage of it. My name is Alan Mendel, Vice President at LeverX, and I will be the moderator for today's webinar. Before we begin our topic, let me briefly introduce you to LeverX. LeverX helps companies increase business value by leveraging existing investments in SAP solutions. Uh, today we're going to talk about what SAP delivered uh, new for with the Enhanced Pack 7 functionality. So what SAP did was bundle a number of new uh, pieces of functionality into a, the SAP note 187-4141. You guys will be getting a, a, you know, a, a, a PDF of this presentation, so don't worry about taking notes, numbers down. You'll be provided that at the end of this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the major functionality that was delivered here. I'm going to demonstrate it, and I'm also talk about how SAP gathered this information. So what what that's going to what that is going to entail is for me to go and give you a review of the SAP what is called the Customer Connect process, followed by the overview of the new functionality and the de demonstration of the new functionality. Oops. Um, I'm going to stand up because I did not close my cuckoo clock door and when the top the hour runs around, it'll go for a long time. So pardon me, I am back. <laughs> Luckily, I have a long wire. Okay, so what, what is the SAP Customer Connect? Uh, what the SAP Customer Connect is SAP's way of, of working with you, the SAP user community, to have you drive new functionality into the systems. Why is that? Because you, know, you, you actually use the system for the, for the business process for which it was designed for. So your users are going to you know, have had maybe some functionality in another system or would like some new functionality that's into the system. And this is the way that SAP can you know, influence, or you, 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 the user, can influence the way uh, SAP builds its product. And also get a voice with SAP on, on, on the areas of functionality you're interested in. So you know, how can you continually improve your, the product? How can you work with SAP to co-innovate? And how can you, once again, share the, share the vision? Because once again, you who own a, a, a business process, in this case, uh, product lifecycle management, understand how the system works versus you know, some solution developers who, who try to gather requirements and, and put it together but don't necessarily understand how a system should function, especially in a very highly technical aspect that uh, the SAP PLM solution works in. So how does the Customer Connect topics, how are they defined? So the Customer Connection program follows a project approach. There are a number of SAP customers, user groups, communi communities request a focus topic. So what, in what, you know, in SAP speak is a focus topic here is SAP PLM. So this is where the project will be defined. SAP defines the project with cycle time so that, once again, this SAP pretty much runs their entire development process using the SAP Project Portfolio Management Tool, so they are very project-oriented. So they will actually create a functional project and work to this. And each project connection will have, it once again, a specific time frame. So what they're going to do in this, in the center box in the middle, is you, they will evaluate requested uh, focus topics, check the criteria for the project, and have transparency working with you on it, and then create the project and maintain the timeline. So what does that mean? So here's the project timeline. So you can see it's, it's basically a, a four-phase collect, select, develop, use type uh, process, where collection is, you know, you, the customer, will define a number of requests, uh, or pardon me, functional improvements, shall we say, to the system. There will be a number of these put together, and then it goes to a selection process. And the way it works is that the, 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 there will be a quorum of all the of all the companies that are involved with the Customer Connect, and they will vote on what, uh, which you know, piece of new functionality that will be selected. Once that is selected, um, the system will also have, you know, they'll also have to look at it because you know, certain re requests are over and above the ability of SAP to, to, to 
build and develop in the time frame that, that's out here. So, you know, there's certain things that, you know, requests that will fall out of scope, but, you know, the vast majority, and you'll see this today, are, are things that can fall in scope and can be defined, selected, and voted on. So the selection process is votes by you, the using community, of this focus topic. Once they're selected and approved by SAP, they will be then developed. Then there will be a development use case and customer systems. There will also be the standard SAP quality control process, of uh, which I, actually I spent on this topic last August. And late July and August, I actually did a software testing with SAP going through and trying to make sure that this software was developed and uh, worked seamlessly and correctly in the system. Enable multiple selection of material and document searching. So let's go to materials. And I'm going to do an advanced search on materials. So I just come over and write select advanced search. And you can now see, oops. Grab my window slide it open. My little let my little yellow arrows, my friends. <coughs> so here's where you can define in different pieces of information. So a material, if I want a, uh, any material mastered starting with NAV, I can put that in. If I want anything with LVX, star, I can put that in. So now watch when I hit this OK, what we're going to see is that a green bar is going to highlight under the yellow. So now you can see equals that, and then you can also then change your, your operators here as well. 